drop the hook. Let's drop the load off from, uh, had picked up in Illinois. I think it was in uh, Elk Grove Village. I just made it to Kennesaw, so who am tired for locking this shit up? I wanted to show y'all something, man. Now this trailer is closing. As you can see this, it's inside the little thing right here. But this right here is not in there. You would have to probably get like a flathead to pop it in there. Which I don't have any tools on me, but the top part is good too. Um, so I'm gonna check the brake lights. You wanna make sure all your tires is good. They got air in it. Um, see what else you wanna look for. And just inspect the trailer itself. Make sure there ain't no holes in it, man. Cause a lot of people, they be putting holes in it and busting stuff open. You wanna make sure all your lights work. So I haven't checked that yet, but I'm just going over a few things. Uh, let's see. Let's go on this side right here. Oh, I'm actually getting too hit myself. So you're gonna go down here. This is where your reefer fuel go right here. You wanna make sure that it's, you know, maybe like at three quarters. As you can see, it's almost there. So um, hopefully, I don't have to put no reefer fuel in it. But you put your reefer fuel in, this little pump is driving for the ass he has hands, but you put it right here in this little part. Uh, make sure that your landing gear can raise up. See it off the ground. Also, make sure that your lock, let me see if I can zoom in to it. Come on, y'all. I'm up under the trailer. It's a, it's a little lock. That's, ooh, my head's fast. It's a little lock right there where my finger pointing at. Make sure that that's covered, that it covers your king pin. Because if that ain't, then you're going to have some serious problems. Uh, what else? And when you turn this on, see all this water down here, y'all. So y'all going to have to get y'all some work boots, man. This is not so. going to turn this. Oh, shit. God damn it. They ain't that fucking puddle deep as fuck. I'm gonna turn this little button on. Right there, just go that button. And you're gonna turn it on to make sure that this, uh, if the reefer cuts on, and then it shows the green light. Uh, and then what I do also, I look at these rubber seals right here to make sure they ain't all worn out and tore up. That's pretty much about it, man. What I just described, so you can check the tires the landing gear, uh, where your lines and stuff hooked up, make sure that this turns on correctly. Check your doors and your tires and make sure they don't have no holes in the trailer, man. Just wanted to show y'all a quick hookup, what I expect out of the trailer. So I'm gonna get back with y'all with uh, another video, all right?